This video is brought to you by the East Texas Council of Governments through a grid from TCEQ and in collaboration with Region 7 Education Service Center. East Texas is green and sunny and beautiful, but sometimes we have a big problem. It's called litter. Hmm? Not that kind of litter. Litter happens when somebody has some trash like a candy wrapper or a cup and doesn't feel like finding a trash can to throw it away in, so they just throw it on the ground. That's right. They don't think about how long the trash will be there or how it can hurt East Texas. Did you know some pieces of litter can last over 100 years and grow toxic over time? Even little things like a little yogurt cup or a straw can cause mm. big problems. I'll reuse these later. Litter is ugly. It can hurt animals, humans, and the planet. It's not just kids. Even grown-ups make mistakes. This means it's everyone's responsibility, including you. So what can you do? If you see a friend litter, say something. Hey, what are you, a litter bug? Litter bug? Ah, uh, yes. Junkus chuckus. More commonly known to the layperson as the litter bug. Sorry. What else can you do? Next time your parents ask what you would like to do this weekend, ask to go pick up litter in the park together. Hey, you never know what kind of germs litter can be carrying, so that's why you never pick up litter with your hand. It's all about the right tools, so that's why it's good to wear reusable gloves or have these cool grabber things. I like to pretend I'm a T-Rex, and I can't reach the ground without these. Congratulations! You've earned the Litter Lifter Badge. Keep watching to learn bigger and better things you can do to keep East Texas beautiful and earn the East Texas Hero Badge. So you know littering is harmful, but what should you do with your trash? Well, how about recycling? Recycling is a big responsibility because you have to make sure you do a good job. You already know about the different bins that are outside your house. Which bin is for recycling? They may be different colors, but the recycling bin will either say recycling or have this symbol. What do you put into them? Recyclables. Recyclables are super. Aluminum. Aluminum can be recycled over and over. Just give them a rinse and put the cans together. The aluminum in the cans can be melted down and made into all sorts of new things. Maybe even a new bicycle. Cardboard. Cardboard can be recycled too. Your old pizza boxes can be recycled. If it's greasy, have a parent help you tear it in half and recycle the cardboard. Cardboard is also reusable. Glass is just like aluminum. It can be recycled over and over again. Be careful not to break it. Another great thing about glass is that you can reuse it for all sorts of things. Plastic. Plastic can be a tricky one. Have you noticed the little numbers on plastic containers? Flip one over and look. Put the cap on first. That number is telling you how to recycle that piece of plastic. A triangle with a number one or a number two means that it can be recycled. But bigger numbers are harder to recycle. That's why it's always important to think twice before disposing of plastic. Remember, you can always find a fun way to reuse it. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new badge. You're now a trash tamer. You're doing so great. Keep watching to unlock all the badges and make your way up to the biggest badge of all, East Texas Hero. Hold on a second. This is a perfect time for us to talk about composting. Composting is a great project that you can do all by yourself with just a little bit of help setting up. A healthy compost can turn an old banana peel into really healthy dirt that can be used for a garden. What a great way to reuse something. You can build your own compost as big as a pile's here or as small as a bucket. If you want to build your own compost bucket like this one here, all you have to do is ask for your parents to help you put several holes in the bottom of the bucket and then it's all about the right mix. A great way to remember is a healthy mixture of green stuff and brown stuff. To find out more about composting, you can go to websites like TakeCareOfTexas.org. Congratulations! You've earned the Compost Conquest Badge. Keep going! Once you've recycled something, where does it end up? Recycling facilities like this one do their best to sort through what gets recycled. 
but it's important that by the time it gets to them, you've already done the work to make sure it's only stuff that can be recycled. Recycling facilities work hard, but there is so much that gets thrown out that it can be hard to keep up. Even some stuff that gets recycled has to get thrown out because it wasn't disposed of properly. Hey, this box still looks good. Did this really need to get recycled yet, or is there something else we can do with it at home? Remember earlier when we used a box to sort through recyclables? If you ask yourself the question, can I reuse this, you'll be amazed at how many times the answer is yes. Trash that gets thrown away but doesn't get recycled goes here. Piles get buried over and over again, and it can last forever. It can create gas and be dangerous to animals and humans. But because we produce so much trash, it has to go somewhere. Did you know that the average person makes five pounds of trash every day? This means that by the time you've reached fifth grade, you've generated over 18,000 pounds of waste and used almost 40,000 gallons of water. That is why it's so important to pay attention to where your waste goes. Check out how much waste you've produced in your lifetime at TakeCareOfTexas.org. Quiz time! How many times did you hear the word reuse? Here's a hint. There was a bell every time someone said it. What is reusing, and why is it so important? You can reuse all sorts of things. Glass jars can be reused as coin holders. Boxes can be reused as grocery holders when you go shopping with your parents. Don't forget the reusable grocery bags. There can be fun ways to reuse stuff, too. How about an arts and crafts project? Let me show you over here to this piece. It's by the artistic genius Timmy in his blue period. The medium is yogurt cups and bendy straws on a piece of box canvas. Fascinating. And this piece is said to be his magnum opus. Mm. 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 Congratulations! You've earned the Junk Genius Badge. Keep going! You're almost an East Texas hero! Reusing is one of the best ways to help the environment and keep East Texas beautiful. But there's another way that is always guaranteed to reduce waste and make you a true East Texas hero. Reducing. What does that mean? Put simply, the less stuff you have coming into your house, the less stuff you eventually throw out. Reducing means less stuff. The very best way to reduce trash is to not have things to throw in the trash in the first place. I have the usable containers for my sandwiches and plastic bags. Dad packed lunch today. I love the library! Shh. It's my favorite place to go to study and to find new books to read and reuse. I also like to donate my old books for other kids to use. Did you know every page in a new book uses two glasses of water to make? I donate all my old toys. Me too! My big brother gives me his outgrown clothes. And when I outgrow them, we're gonna donate them. My big brother is shorter than I am. Congratulations! You've unlocked the Reasonable Reduction Badge. I wonder if there are other ways that reducing, reusing, and recycling can help the planet. Hey guys, let's have a conversation about conservation. Conservation is how we protect and preserve East Texas by reducing our natural, non-renewable resources like gas, oil, and coal. These resources don't just provide electricity, they help us make new things. But once we use these resources, we can't reuse them. There's only so much. Once we use them, they're gone. The more we reduce, reuse, and recycle, the more we can conserve our natural resources. Congratulations, you've unlocked the Conservation Conversationalist Badge. We're lucky to have East Texas, and even luckier to have this whole planet. But it's our job to take care of it, and not to be careless, because we can make a mess without even thinking about it. And if we're not mindful, we can make a mess that will never go away. You don't have to be perfect. Nobody does. As long as we all care enough to try, and we try just a little bit every day. Whoa, you did it! You unlocked the ultimate badge! East Texas Hero! Thanks to all the litter lifters, trash tamers, compost conquerors, junk geniuses, reasonable reductionists, and conservation conversationalists for sticking around and learning how to become East Texas heroes. By the way, did you see all the secrets hidden in the video? I bet your school mascot was somewhere. And how many times did we say the word reuse? Count the bells! See you the
those trees in the midsummer's breeze. Yeah, eh, eh, we're happy to save the earth and watch the plants down the valley and dance. Oh, yeah, eh, eh, we're happy to save the earth. Anyone's guess Oh yeah, yeah, yeah We're happy to save the earth Oh yeah, yeah, yeah We're happy to save the earth